Did you see that? The babies are growing up and it's time to start preparing them to go to their new home. Uh, we're gonna start weaning them just a little bit. Hi everybody, <laughs> welcome to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Sarah. And while our two baby Nigerian dwarf uh, dolings are about five and a half weeks old, and it's time for them to start learning more about eating hay um, and less about drinking from their mom. And it's also time for our family to start enjoying some of the goat milk. So we've got a couple things to do to get them prepared. Uh, the plan is we'll be separating them overnight. Uh, our family will be getting uh, our goats morning milk and then we'll reunite them uh, so the babies can have the milk the rest of the day. Uh, it will encourage them while they're hungry in the morning to start eating hay um, and uh, relying more on that as a way to fill their bellies than just always mom's milk. Um, at eight weeks old is when they will go to their new home <laughs> and uh, we need to make sure that they are ready for that. Um, also, at eight weeks old, um, we will be getting all of the uh, goat milk, so we need to get mom ready, we need to get the babies ready, um, we need to start taking some of the milk too. So there are a couple things we need to do. We need to build Rory a house out here so that when she's separated from her babies, she can take cover if it's raining or windy, uh, and we need to secure uh, the barn area to keep the babies in there. So we've got a couple projects to do today. We thought <laughs> we would bring you along um, and, uh, and film what we're doing and probably some of the craziness trying to do some projects with baby goats uh, in the way. Uh, so let's get started. So we're gonna start by building just a simple pallet uh, shelter out here in the uh, little field here. Um, you know, I like to build things out of pallets because there's a company in town that gives them away for free so we can get as many as we want. They're good hardwood. And so we're gonna build this out of uh, uh, pallets and some metal roofing. Uh, shouldn't take us long at all. We'll be able to get this done and move on to uh, figuring out how we're gonna keep these babies inside the barn overnight. finished up the shelter. Uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, you know, what I love about building out of these pallets is first of all, they're pretty fast to build stuff out of once you get used to kind of how you build things with them. It just, it goes fast. This whole thing took us 30 minutes to build. Might not be the prettiest thing in the world, but I'll tell you what, the goats don't care. What the goats care about is can they get in, get out of the rain, get out of the sun, and have a place to take a nap. And this will definitely do that. I did end up adding uh, just some cedar, a cedar log across the bottom and a cedar log up the middle for some extra support and this will be perfect. 
I made it strong enough so that they can climb on top of it, but I really think it's probably too tall for the Nigerian dwarf goats that we have. I don't really think that they'll jump up here, but if they do, it'll hold them. And the best part about this project, it was free. Right, except the screws. Right. Screws were it, but other than that, free. Absolutely. Now we're going to move on to uh, figuring out how we're going to secure the babies inside their little part of the barn overnight. So this is the area where the goats uh, like to hang out. This is inside the barn area. Uh, there is an old chute that is up here uh, that they like to play in. And then they all like to sleep underneath there. It's kind of like a little cave. Mom sleeps in there right now and babies. So our plan is to block this off here to keep the babies all the way inside of here. Mom can sleep outside in her little house. Um, and then in the morning, I can just take mom out into the milking room, milk her, um, bring her back in, and then they can all eat. Um, and uh, the babies will start getting trained that they need to start looking to eat some hay and grass outside, uh, not as much of mom's milk, and then we get some of her milk. All right, so what we've decided to do to build a, a gate uh, to hold them in the part of the barn is we're gonna use an old piece of uh, cattle panel and some scrap uh, welded wire uh, kind of keeps with our uh, free theme for the day, so um, we're going to get started. We're just going to attach uh, the welded wire to the cattle panel uh, because the babies are still pretty small and they'd be able to get right through here. So we're going to do that and then we'll take it in there and try to make some type of hinge. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be Fort Knox. It just needs to be good enough to hold in a couple baby goats. So we're going to get working. There's rain coming. Alright, we have that all zip tied together, now we're going to take it into the barn area and figure out how to make some type of hinge and some type of lock, and then we'll be all set and we'll be able to test it out and put them in there and see if they can escape. Alright, so I've decided to keep it really simple uh, to make kind of a hinge over here. All I'm going to do is uh, use some long nails and uh, then put the, the gate over here and then bend the nails around. Uh, it'll just make a real simple hinge on there. Uh, but I think it'll work just fine. Alright, so we got it all installed. It's uh, nice and sturdy. Uh, what we ended up doing is instead of making it so it swings open, uh, we just made a real simple uh, kind of latch system on both sides out of some bent nails. So we can just, uh, you know, turn the nails and take the uh, take the fence off and then during the day we'll just set it over onto the other side of uh, out of the main fence here and that will you know be perfect again it's just keeping in some baby goats uh, so it's not not like a pig or something real big is going to be pushing up against it so we're going to try putting them in and see what they do Now, when we do this at night, you know, we won't have mama in there too, but just for oh, the sake of showing you guys how it works, they're all in there. So this is the solution that we uh, decided would work best for us in order to keep the babies away from the mom at night so that we will be able to milk her in the morning and we'll get the babies ready for uh, complete weaning at eight weeks old. If you all are thinking about raising goats sometime, just want to let you know that you can start this process 
of kind of milk sharing with the babies um, as early as three weeks. We just wanted to make sure that the babies had a good start and we waited until about five, five and a half weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Um, if this is your first time visiting our channel, right now is a perfect time to hit the subscribe button below. If you are one of our traditionalists that comes back every day, you guys, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.